but now I'm asking a terrible question. Is it po possible to industrialize, to industrialize, uh, the, the, let's say, the, uh, the production of awareness muscle, let's say? Um, I have the feeling that now uh, all these apathy gas are falling down the sky into our sofa and um, uh, how is it possible to wake up everybody so they uh, so the sleeping pill uh, you know they react on the sleeping pills so you you know, it's it's like Assange for example this guy from WikiLeaks WikiLeaks yeah. uh, he tried to produce this moment or I je je sais plus si s'appelle the moment of clarity or I don't know the name it's that one moment suddenly your your life will change and you discover that you, you don't want to see these torture things anymore and you will give this uh, your stick to the to WikiLeaks and uh, with the, uh, all the pictures. So there is one moment where it's a swap. It's like the, the people from uh, Amnesty International, also they are on, on the street, they have a book, they show you some picture and they expect that when you see this, you say, ah, oh, it's too much. I don't want this anymore. I pay. I, I'll be a member of Greenpeace or... So it's to it's to produce this moment where where people it's maybe like a, like a snapshot they um, they, uh, they they wake up and then they uh, suddenly they will start to train their awareness muscle. <laughs> Is it possible to do it, let's say, massively so everybody wake up? Well, when when you <laughs> do it in the classical way, like pro, by producing leaks or or showing counter evidence. Uh, it is, of course, uh, rejected by the masses as being ideological counter-propaganda. So, uh, what a, an alternative would look like would be to find a way to uh, exercise a critical attitude without ideology at all. This is possible. See, something like, here is just a, a new sort of gymnastics, and uh, it has nothing to do with left-wing and right-wing attitudes to anything at all, it has nothing to do with that. It's it's purely for your mental health. <laughs> uh, I would say that uh, an uh, optimal form of education would do it. I mean, education in itself is not about uh, being right-wing or left-wing, but about having a possibility to, to uh, personalize conceptual work so you don't depend on other people for thinking. <laughs> having your own transportable thinking takes years and years to obtain. But uh, cognitively, it's an interesting question you ask because uh, if it can really be formulated in terms of uh, first degree and second degree awareness, of course, second degree awareness uh, as a rhythmic phenomenon can be trained as such. I have a, a conversation with an American student who is working on rhythm in film. Uh, there are new uh, initiatives in filmmaking uh, that uh, call themselves uh, film prosody experiments. Prosody is about the rhythm in speech, mm. but it could also be about well the rhythm and the pitch profiles and so on in speech. In film, it would be something like the prosody of, I mean, film doesn't have words, but it has uh, scenes and it has cuts, it has sequences, and it has, it doesn't have syllables, but it has single shots, right? Mm -hmm. And you can work uh, consciously on the length of each of these atomic elements in the visual uh, exposure, right? You can cut things in such a way that the same thing is told slowly instead of being told fast. No way. Right? And the same thing in, uh, in the auditive domain. I mean, much of what I'm talking about is, to, is the possibility of taking the phenomenon of critical consciousness down to a perceptive level. Art is doing that, but you know what happens when we try by art. People say, art is not for me. It's too intellectual. I don't want to be intellectual, nothing like that will work. So people will, will uh, think it's ideological, mm. that it's about uh, liking artists and paying them a lot of money, mm -hmm. etc. They don't like that. Mm. They think that art 
Hatchets are parasites and should be uh, eliminated, right? Because they are not doing real work, as they say in France. <laughs> le vrai travail. Voilà, le vrai travail. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, that doesn't work. It has to be really taken down to perception. Like, something like um, working experimentally on um, presenting information in rhythmically variable ways. Hmm. Something like the, the, the faster they uh, become, for example, news programs of half an hour sometimes have 25 stories hmm. in half an hour. So you can see some of them are under one minute long. Cetera. But it's only one story in the 25. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But try to measure that as, as we did. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned that. That, that is a, an interesting thing because that, I would call that fast. Mm. Try to tell the same story slowly and you will see it becomes critical by itself. Mm -hmm. Especially if you superimpose the two versions. <laughs> yeah, or you, 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 you edit one word, for example, the, the way they say in the Danish news, Dansk full party. When they say yeah. that in the news, they are very happy. When when they read the they dance for party, you know they are. But if you if you just take this word, you know it's uh, it's over happy. So, yeah. so sometimes it's just a question to, to to just take one word and repeat it, and, and you see the the it knows uh, they 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 inject uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, in it. But it's a state to 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 create something like that. Need a complicity with the state. Uh, without it become uh, ideology, then it need. Uh, To, to, to let's say to educate a critical nation then it need uh, uh, it needs the complicity of the of the of the of the institution of the state of the democracy so it's part of uh, it's part of it's like a public service oh. <laughs> yeah sure but you could say this is about consciousness training <laughs> yes I have a text that's going to be published soon uh, on uh, on speed and social analysis. You know, the, the fastest processes in social life are the financial ones. They are so fast that the financial uh, uh, human beings uh, do not know, cannot know what they are doing because <laughs> they are really uh, post hoc all the time yeah. because the machines are doing the investments. Yeah. It's, it's very fast. Uh, political life is, is already fast, but it's slower than, than uh, financial life. Yeah. Because you have to, uh, to to do at least some negotiation, but uh, administration is slower than politics. You mm. know, so we can change politics and and keep the administration. Mm. <laughs> and education is slower than administration, so you can change the administration but keep the content of what you are teaching. <laughs> mm. But it's maybe a question to do a platform which is ready to the speed. The interesting thing, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> is that um, the slower, the more creative it becomes. So f finances are not creative. They, they've only got one uh, norm. More is better. But the faster, the more uh, experimental. No, I mean, uh, finances are not experimental. No. <laughs> Yes. They, they, they are not thinking really. <laughs> yes. In order to think, you have to speed down. Yes. Slow. Yes. So, for example, education is slower than administration, mm. <laughs> but but uh, more can happen there. Mm. And uh, slower than education, you get, of course, um, the, the philosophy and art. So you can see this as a sort of concentric system mm. with a fast processes in the middle and the slower processes around it in a concentric system uh, so the the uh, probably the, uh, the the margin of all margins in this sense would be art which is extremely slow and very creative in the sense that new concepts can be made but it takes I mean it takes weeks and weeks to do a sculpture and uh, it takes a year to do a novel for example That's slow. Instead of going going to your screen and do a, an investment, 
a speculative investment and, and harvest uh, the interest to the uh, same day. But you can also uh, give a phone call in China, so they do a VAX uh, figure looking like Madame Tussaud. Uh, uh, you can ask them to do a Sarkozy figure with, uh, you know, commenting the actuality like, like they do uh, Plantu, uh, you know, the caricaturist. Uh, yeah. Basically, they are, they, are, they are able, they have a repertoire of, of things and they are able to uh, assemble something pretty fast and uh, with sometimes pertinence and also their own... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, so, be, because they are prepared. Yeah, well, the thing is, if you have a social system, I mean, a world civilization would be an agglomeration of all these concentric systems, and they would touch upon each other by the margins. So, uh, for example, the slower the thing is, a processes of of concepts, the, um, the more international it is, in a sense. So, for example, property is strictly personal, or strictly uh, mm. institutional at least, and that's the only local thing you have. Mm. Uh, of course, you can uh, you can also have a very uh, creative and slow development of uh, new ideas, and which is industrialized, which means that the concept will uh, be. Um, sinking inwards like if you have a vortex mm -hmm. like, and a concept is uh, born uh, in the outer part but then it, it runs inwards mm -hmm. and becomes trivialized <laughs> and industrialized mm -hmm. and and uh, the the speed of its uh, its part of, of uh, exchange will rise mm -hmm. Now, uh, of course, fast processes have this uh, conscious attraction on us, which is a very sad thing, but it works like that. Okay, so we, uh, there is authority in speed. Which means that the things that are, are really reactionary but fast have uh, uh, an impact on our minds. So there is a sort of conflict mm. between the sentry. Uh, Fugal and the centripetal forces in a social system. The centrifugal forces will, will uh, throw uh, fast concepts outwards. So, for example, artists can be very uh, fascinated by money, <laughs> which is uh, somewhat contradictory, but okay, they are persons. So, um, and they can be, for example, artists can be fascinated by by fast technology, mm. which is an, an influence from the fastest inner circles going outwards. Art can be political, which is a fascination by fascination by the existing political system, of course. But they could also slow down and say, hey, wait a little bit. Uh, politics takes uh, a critical attitude. Right? Where does that come from? Well, you have to go out into the cultural, uh, uh, philosophical, artistic domain in order to find forces to criticize. By the way, another uh, relatively slow process of exchange of concepts is the religious one. Mm -hmm. So for many people, in order to at all have any attitude at all to, polit to political life, they anchor themselves in religion because it's slower. Mm. So they would go ask their religious community what to think about a political project. It's almost philosophy. Mm. So I would give philosophy a chance in this system. I would give religion another chance in that system. 